be ready for whatever the moment is to do. So you are here to go for Sergio Martinez fight? Yeah, I'm here for the Martinez fight and also here to see the fans here. So at the same time, you know, this fight was uh, on the weekend. I'm going to show my support to my British friend, you know, Martin, who I know quite well, I'm training with him. And also I'm a big fan of Sergio Martinez. I think he's a great fighter. So it's, it's good for boxing. Man. Any prediction for tomorrow's night? Um, you know, it's hard to tell because, I mean, one punch can change fight. They can both punch, they can both take a shot. Now, I think it's quite good distance and, you know, who knows the best man will be. Oh, thank you. And a couple last words for your fans in Poland. I just want to say hello to all the fans in Poland. And, I mean, I've never been there, but I've got a few Polish fans in the UK. But I just want to say, you know, keep watching my fights and keep supporting me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Amir, how you doing? Well, I'm with Roundabout.com. I'm actually from the DC area, and I know that you had a press conference with uh, Peterson uh, just yesterday, in fact. Yeah. And uh, we were actually there covering it with uh, the Ring magazine. Uh, so how, how did it go, first of all? I mean, it was brilliant. You know, we both show respect to each other, and um, it's all it's a boxing sport. Um, but it went really well. You know, good turnout, good media turnout. Got a lot of people come there, and. Um, yeah, man, we just wanted a good fight and we just want to uh, we just want to promote this fight because it is going to be a huge fight. Everyone knows about the first fight being amazing, the second fight is going to be even bigger. Yeah, you see uh, Lem, uh, Lem hey, Satterfield here. Let me ask here. you, what was it like for you to have him come to London and have to watch him answer questions of the of the London press about his fight. What was it like for you to sit there and watch him have to answer those questions? You know, you know, you know one thing about I mean, he didn't seem confident or anything. He was sat there giving, um, talking and stuff, and you could see that the confidence wasn't there. I mean, I know Lamont knows he lost the first time. That's why he was sat there knowing that he wasn't the champion. Really, on paper he is, but, you know, deep down he knows he didn't win the fight. But, you know, he showed respect, I showed him respect. I know he come all the way to London where I had a lot of respect for him. He took the fight on after so much new hard negotiations and everything. But you know, it's, it's done now. We just want to get ready and want to get in the ring and fight now. Put a great performance on. The first fight was amazing. And I think the second fight is going to be even better. Have you, have you guys in fact agreed and signed to yeah. do drug testing? Yes, we have. Can you tell me how and why that um, came about? Well, I just think it's fair. I mean, we want to keep sport fair, and we just want to make sure there's nothing going on in sport. And I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a athlete. I've been to Olympic Games. I know what it's like to train as an athlete. And you know, we just want to make sure everything's going to be all the procedure and everything's going to be clean. We want a good, clean fight, and we want to be fair. Now, doing this drug test, I think, is good for any sport. We just want to show how clean we are. But you and obviously, Alex has said that he he welcomes uh, the criticism that he's gotten because it means that people are afraid of his fighters. Yeah. Um, you know, do you I mean, feel the same way or do you feel like you guys you know, have been You know, when people say we're, we're, we're scared of the fighters, I mean, the fighters are scared of us, I'm sorry. It's only because we train hard, we work hard, I mean, we, we train out of our skin, you know, we, we fight hard and we spar hard. No, that's the reason. I mean, we look in good shape when we come into a fight because we train hard. No, people can say all sorts while we take drugs or whatever. No, I just want to prove to people that we clean fighters. I'm doing Olympic drug test, man. We chose to do that. We didn't have to do that, but we chose to do that. No. You know, it just shows what type of fighters we are. We train hard and people just can't take that. Is that going to be Vada who's doing it or who's doing it? Do you um, I don't know. I've left it to my team. I don't know. I, 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 they'll just turn up randomly and we'll do it. Last question for me. Um, what was it like for you in turn to go to D.C. on Thursday uh, and, and talk to the members of that media and to be in that same room where you had the previous press conference? Yeah, um, it was in the same room. I mean, it was hard to be there, but... You know what, they show so much love. I mean, I was walking the streets in Washington and people are saying, you're still a champ. We saw the fight, you're the, you're the champ. I mean, these are his own people saying that. And um, I mean, that kind of gave me a little bit more confidence. You know, it made me feel more relaxed and chill. I mean, the people in Washington are nice. It's just what happened to me wasn't, um, you know, wasn't fair. But we'll hopefully settle the score and put things straight on May 19th. And, you know, I've got nothing against Lamont Peterson. It's not his fault. There's the people who are controlling the fight. It's like Lamont coming to England, fighting me there, and I have an English judge, and, you know, so an English referee. And it's not going to be fair. So I'm happy the fight's in Vegas where it's going to be neutral. We both fought there before. We have both had some good um, fights over there. So let's make it Strategically, another good one. Strategically, what will be different for you? Will you try to knock him out? Or? I mean, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fight. I mean, we, uh, we're going to fight hard. We made a few mistakes in the last fight. We're not going to make the mistakes again. Now we're going to go in there and be smart and I mean, stick to our game plan, whatever Freddie tells me. If Freddie tells me to fight him, I'll fight him. If Freddie tells me to box him, I'll box him. It's whatever Freddie says. Freddie's the man who's going to be in the corner, who's going to give me the game plan. 
but we're going to be ready for whatever Lamont brings to the table. You'll see a total different Amir Khan this fight. I mean, we know what mistakes we made in the last fight. We're not going to make them again. And we know that we won't 100% in that fight either. You know, there's a few little niggles. And tell me, tell me, tell me. No, I'm, I'm not tell you, man, but you'll just see a different fighter. I mean, you know if I fought him like I fought Judah and if I fought Lamont Peterson when I fought Maidana like I fought Maidana, I don't think Judah would have, I mean, I don't think Lamont Peterson would have been there. But there were a few little problems in the camp. Um, but I don't want to talk into it too much. But you know, we'll be ready for May 19th, no matter what. Amir, what happened in that first fight in Washington? Um, you, should, you should watch the fight, man. No, I, I mean, you tell me what happened. You were close to me. I mean, I was, I was in the ring, yeah.